Hey guys, it's Chris Trot, Trotty Golf. I'm bringing you today the new Speedsoft Ink from TaylorMade. We're at Aviara. We're gonna be putting this through its paces around the putting area. We're gonna be chipping with it and pitching with it. Which type of player is this ball for? Stay tuned, let's check it out. So let's peel back the layers and get into, this is the Speedsoft Ink version. Before I even talk about which players this is for on the type of player profile, I just want to comment on how good a job TaylorMade have done with this eye-catching golf ball. It truly has a personality of its own. I mean, check this out when it comes to the golf ball itself. There is so much detail in here. I showed it to a couple of young juniors and they couldn't take their eyes off it. The packaging itself is fantastic, just with that graphic graffiti blue it also comes in the red the green or the pink so we're not leaving anyone out and you're gonna know when you cruise up the fairway look at that box how good that is you're gonna know when you cruise up the fairway which golf ball is yours so for golfers out there today that want an identity this could well be for you so what makes the Speedsoft ink so soft? If you're a player out there that values feel, this is where you want to go to. Compression is how we measure the golf ball. And this is a sub 50 compression. That's the softest golf ball that TaylorMade have ever made. But for speed, it's at the limit with the USGA when it comes to that compression of golf ball. So you're gonna get some pop out of it, but with an extremely soft feel. How do we do that? Well, it's a two-piece golf ball. It's got the core and it's got the cover. It's an ionomer cover, which is super, super firm. But with that core being so soft, below 50, sub 50 compression, that's what's gonna give you the combination of the feel and the soft touch with this golf ball around the greens. So let's get into the area where we're really gonna feel that soft compression, especially with someone with my speed as a player. We're down breeze. We're out here at 114 to that flag and I've got a brand new Mill Grind 4. I'm literally gonna peel off the sticker and reveal those grooves. So we're gonna see how this golf ball spins, even being down breeze, but I'm really gonna try and translate to you guys how this ball feels. Having that soft compression, the two piece, I should be able to get a good interaction with this and really rip this golf ball back. So just a smooth 56 from this yardage. Firm greens, big bounce, but I think that had quite a bit of munch on it and quite a bit of stopping power on it. But you can tell from the sound off the blade, this is truly a soft golf ball. That is what your experience is gonna be with this ball. If you want something that's uber, uber soft, especially on these short shots to give you maximum feel and control, then this is the route that you wanna be taking. Super height, again, that's the speed of my swing and that golf ball that gives it that high launch. Two pretty good strikes, high launch, soft feel, and then landed up there. Let's go see how we did for those pitch marks. Keep in mind, firm green, downwind. So look, evaluating this, and this is how you can do it if you don't have the luxury of capturing a drone shot to see the landing, or of course, a full swing kit launch monitor to give you the numbers. Use your eyes. One of them had a big bounce, and it stopped there, and the other one was literally right next to the can when it landed. So happy with that in terms of how it holds its flight. It's a down breeze wedge shot. But look, it's more the stopping power on these greens that are getting firm. We've got one, two, three and a half paces for stopping on that. That's pretty good. And again, this is where you're gonna get the benefit of this golf ball. So think about the player that needs this. They want soft feel, but if you need spin to get your golf ball in the air, because you don't generate it as a player, because you actually have softer, smoother swing that doesn't give you the speed, well, this golf ball is going to give you the spin in order to give you the distance. So you can see it when a good player hits a wedge shot that stops like that, that's how you know this is a high spinning ball for those people that maybe don't, don't generate the power where it's needed. So when you're new to the game, this is the area that you can pick up a lot of golf shots. You don't need uber power in order to get better around here. And I honestly think this is where this golf ball might well come into its own. So as you test and practice this, 
just hit these shots and just see how it reacts on the green down there. See how the ball does. See how it comes out, it's a soft feel, that one, a better one, and tried to grab as it went. This is down breeze, downhill, by the way. Again, mix it up, but hopefully you can translate and hear the sound of that soft, soft golf ball. We're out the rough now. Will it react the way I want? Just playing a little bit of a higher golf shot. And you can see the spin. Look at how softly it lands. You're gonna get a lot of benefit around the greens from this golf ball. It's an area for the newbies or for anyone out there to improve. And this golf ball will give you that response from these areas. So check this out, because this is a question you should all be asking yourself and it's durability when it comes to a golf ball. Keep in mind, I've just hit two flat out 56 degree wedges on a brand new face, taking the tape off of it. Those things munch golf balls for fun. I've gone through the chip shots and the golf balls with used and I've pulled the two that I hit the shots with. You can see here, there's a grass mark on the ball and after that, on each ball, so that's where the pitch mark was, where it hit the turf, but there is truly nothing else. Maybe on this one, a little mark where it hit that 56, and then on this one, the blue one, absolutely nothing. That's a good sign for anyone out there because people that this is aimed at might not be able to generate that speed and that turf interaction with a 56 degree wedge. So you guys should be fine who are looking to get this ball. Great tee shot down the pipe. That's what I would want for this hole. Little cutty, it's come out a hair below my ball speed. What you need to understand is this golf ball is aimed to give spin for slower hitting player. So to see that number there, just over 3,000 on a cut shot that moves left to right that I feel I got pretty good, that's where I want to see it. So for someone of my speed, this might be a hair spinny off the tee, but you must understand that that benefits the golfer that this is catered for because you're going to need spin to get the golf ball in the air. Feel is off the charts. That's what you must take from this. That 50 compression is an amazing thing. So the Speed Soft comes in white, yellow, or this cool ink package, like we said, but it also has this alignment tool. Now let's talk about the paint on here for a second. It's the same process used to get the Pix golf ball paint on. So it's gonna be the same as that when it comes to durability, but it's not designed entirely to be an alignment aid. So TaylorMade make this tour response stripe that if you're someone who's working on your putting, then you would wanna use the tour response stripe to help you aim up that line on the reed. And once you have that, then you can just autopilot, put the putter into it. That feels a little low to me. Adjust to where you get the feel that you want it. Get in there with the tour response. Feel that. This is the stripe. Hit it and you can see end over end, how did I do? Not enough break. But notice on the speed soft, you do have this logo that has the arrows on there. So now we know this one breaks a lot more. It's gonna feel differently off the core but let's see if we can do a better effort of speed and line. Line it up through my speed soft, and that's truly visual to me. I can see that coming straight out of the ball. Robbery, but much better on the results, and you can truly, again, get that instant feedback as the ink markings roll down, and again, use speed soft to help you with your alignment. Potting, it doesn't need to be as tough as I'm making it here, it's a combination of line and aim and speed and getting that ball rolling down your intended target. If you can use training aids that are on a golf ball like this that are totally USGA legal, then I'd recommend going there. Money. Last true test for the speed soft is gonna be out the traps. Look, this isn't the easiest to trap shot. It's gonna go up and over a hill, but let's just see how it reacts when I pop it on the green there. Stopped quick. That one hit the upslope, so I'm gonna give myself another go, see if I can carry that upslope and just get one to nestle next to the hole. Carry, land, and then you can see it grab 
I mean, what a great golf ball in this scenario around the green. Brand new wedge. Let's check out the durability of those two balls. So here's the same two golf balls from those trap shots. And I'm struggling to see or feel anything. There's a bit of sand residue here, which if you wipe it off is nothing. After that, the blue one's got nothing. And the pink one may be there where it struck. So just a slight blemish in the paint. But for two pretty good, well hit, trap shots with a brand new 56 and that's what I used and you can even see here the wear marks on this and listen to the sound of that that's good shape so look if you're interested obtaining the speed soft golf ball be it in the ink the white or the yellow I'm going to stick the link down below I think that's a pretty good review of this thing it is a golf ball with huge personality that's what I was drawn to it and why I wanted to bring you this video so check the link out in below to learn more about this the price point as well which we never even touched is 25 bucks that is a dream when it comes to getting a dozen golf balls. Just make sure you're the right player that's looking for the soft feel around the greens and needs a bit of spin on the long shots. And this should be for you. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be back next Tour Trick Tuesday.